Hey, my name's Sully, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. Once you get done checking this out, be sure to listen to the Funko Funcast. That's F-U-N-K-A-S-T. Available anywhere you listen to podcasts. Nerds Unite! <laughs> My name is Alex, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. Hi, my name is Catch Pops, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. Hi, my name is uh, Ege Samonte. I'm from uh, California, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. Uh, my, my cosplay is a Nightwing. Uh, it's made of uh, foam, EVA foam. I may, uh, probably I made it uh, three months uh, every weekend, every day off every time I get home. So I got into cosplay uh, six years ago and New York Comic Con is my second uh, convention to go to when I got here from the Philippines. And thank you, that's it. Hi, my name is Dave. June. And when you're watching, let's talk about Funko. <laughs> and we're promoting our brand. We are, we are collecting stash. stash on IG. You can follow us. There you go. Stash. Check us out. We, got, we sell Funkos and you know, just give us a shout out. And Check us out. Later. Hi, my name is Isabel, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. My Instagram is the cosplay shark. It's all one word, and shark is spelled with a Q instead of a K. We're here at Comic Con, and we're having a blast. Hi, my name is Courtney, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. You can follow me on Instagram on at C Stud. Hello, my name is Dr. Hugo Strange, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. Because why not? My name's Dougie Fresh, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko! My name is Red Hood, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. It took me about a month or so to do this costume. I did it all handmade, painted it, sanded it. It was a, it was a project. As you can see, I had a little difficulties, but overall, it came out good. I'm happy to be here. Hi, my name is Dubman, and you're watching whatever you want to watch when we're watching it together, drinking Duff. Oh yeah! Let's talk about Funko! Hi, my name is Kit Kryptonite, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. I am a pro In real life, I'm a prosthetic technician, but outside of that, I love to cosplay. I usually do Freddie Mercury, su uh, so, some sort of Superman mashup, like Pirate Superman, Bombshell Superman, and all different types of things. I love, this is just a great community because you get to meet such wonderful people and like I brought, I brought so much pleasure to my life and so much like camaraderie and like it's helped me fight anxiety. Like especially as Freddie Mercury per se, like he's very authentageous. He's very like empowering. So to be, to cosplay him, it's just like, it feels like a certain energy. Even when I'm tired, I somehow, when I put that yellow jacket on, I somehow gain like more energy and stuff like that. But yeah, Freddie Mercury as a, like as a person, he influenced a lot of people. So when people see me as Freddie Mercury, it brings joy. Same thing with Superman. It's, and like people love Superman. So they're like, oh, you're Superman, can we take a picture with you? And like it brings, especially the kids. The kids see Superman, they're like, hey, you know, Superman, mom, we can have a picture with them, and the kids are like, and then I'm like, yeah, sure, of course, and then like, it's just a wonderful thing. And like, that's why cosplay is so great, because you meet people, you bring joy to others, and it just, and you help build your craft, you know? It's like, it's such a wonderful thing, and I love, I love this, and I love everything about this whole community. And thank you, thank you for having me on, I appreciate it. Hi, my name is Sean Shonuff, AKA Ghost Rider, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. Hi, my name is Sung Woo Kong, and you are watching Let's Talk About Funko. Hello everybody, my name is Abdullah. Clyde. We're both here as John Stewart, and, and you're watching Let's Talk Funko. Hi, my name is Clyde. I'm representing Green Lantern John Stewart, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. If you want to catch me, you can catch me at Aline Clyde at Instagram. Thank you. Hi, 
Uh, my name is Jonathan, I'm um, jpowell530 on IG, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. What's up folks, I am Jay the Unstoppable, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. Hey, my name is Jay, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko, baby. Hi, my name is Kason Cosplay, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. We're here at New York Comic Con, and I'm here today with... Kason Cosplay. And uh, what are you dressed as? Lady Death from the Marvel Universe. Awesome. <laughs> That's uh, Thanos' uh, woman right there, as well as Deadpool. <laughs> so how, how long have you been cosplaying? Um, I started at my first Comic-Con in 2010, so about nine years now. Wow. Um, and anything else you do here besides just cosplaying or collecting any items? I collect t-shirts, which I shouldn't. Um, <laughs> I do browse the pops. I'm not a huge Funko collector, but if I see something I like, I will buy it, you know? How, how many pops do you have? I am a beginner. I have two. Three. I have three. So you're going to get addicted soon. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it is pretty addicting. Yeah, I got onto it about two years ago. Had like over 300 pops, and it was just ridiculous. I've, I've gotten rid of some of them, but I'm trying to get back down. Um, what's uh, your first pop? My first pop was actually a pop that I won in one of those mystery boxes. Okay. It was a David Tennant with the detached hand from Doctor Who. Wow. That was my very first pop. Oh, that's awesome. And so what's the second pop since you only have two? Uh, the second one was a Thestral from Harry Potter. I found it at Hot Topic. Okay, so you got it at a good price then. Yeah. <laughs> so what else do you, like right now, what is your main interest at Comic-Con? Uh, well, Cosplay, mostly. Um, I have a really big group of cosplay friends, so we kind of just come here and converge and hang out and take pictures. I really like buying prints as well. Yes. I really love going into Artist Alley and buying prints. I love original art. I love original comics. There's so many good comic book artists that just kind of sit down in Artist Alley and nobody ever goes down there. And I just, they're all so good. Yeah, there's actually people up here too. Uh, some, actually right behind Funko in that area, there's some original artists. Uh, from comic book people, not just uh, not mainstream. So yeah. it's like you have everywhere. Um, anyone specific you like? Um, there's this one artist, and I don't know if I'm getting his name right. I think his name is Mike Renzine, okay. and he does this really, really good art of like really beautiful voluptuous women. Um, and I've been collecting art from him for the past at least maybe five or six years. I've bought something from him every year that I've come to Comic Con. And so you know him well enough, or...? I mean, I know his art well. Like, I'll know it if I see it. I'm not, like, friends with him. I wish oh. I was, because he's a really good artist. But he's... I've spoken to him a few times. He's a really nice guy. Oh, I should probably get something drawn from him or something like that. I wish I could. That would be the dream. He's a really good artist. Um, so I'm not even sure what else we're going to be talking about here, because you're very specific on what you like. But you said comic books. Besides the voluptuous kind of uh, women, what else do you into on that? Um, I mean, I'm really big into art styles. Okay. So if it's like an art style I don't like, I won't read it. Um, I really like the sort of cartoony looking characters okay. a lot, if that makes sense. It, the ultra hyper realistic comic book stuff isn't really my style, but if the story is good, then I'll read it. Oh, so it has to have some actual story, it, not yeah. just it's look not good. Just, like look good and action, <laughs> and if the story is good, if it's a well written comic book, because I'm a reader, so okay, I read awesome. a lot. So if the story is good, then I can sometimes surpass the art if it's a really good story. But it does have to have both for me. Uh, so you probably have you ever done any Kickstarters for that? Like try to help people out on that stuff? No, I'm poor. Hey, I I'm, understand. I'm a poor New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> we all are in one way or another. We're first just being a New Yorker is yeah. expensive as it is. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. It's <laughs> oh, really yeah. hard. All day. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, I'm from the Bronx, but it's just even it's, getting into the city right now and yeah. coming here is like you gotta have to have like a certain amount to spend and that's it. Yeah. Like, uh, so are you looking at any pops today? Um, probably some My Hero Academia pops. Okay. I don't have any of those, so I want to try to collect some. Those are the ones that I'm kind of looking for. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you for so much for coming through. Thank you. And we out. Take care. Hey, my name is Dan, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. My Instagram is at Mr. Skull Crusher, MR period, Skull Crusher with a K. Yeah! My name's Nat, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. Hi, my name is Jane Blaze. 
And I'm Susie Dahl. And you're, and you're watching, watching Let's Talk About Funko. Hi, my name is Chris Mohedano, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. My hashtag is RaveMouse, R-A-V-E-M-A-U-5. You'll catch me around EDM festivals and doing crazy stuff like this. Hey, what's going on? My name is Rick, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. Follow me on Instagram, at Size Photography, S-A-E-Z underscore photography, easiest pie. Thank you very much, Comic Con 2019. Hi, my name is May, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. My uh, hashtag on Instagram is uh, uh, S-I-G-G-Y underscore B-E-E. -E. Okay, hi, my name is Chris. And my name is Chris. <laughs> and you're watching Let's Talk About F <laughs> Hi, my name is Ruby Rod. And you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. Ooh, ooh, what's wrong with you? Hi, my name is Shola Young, and you're watching Let's Talk About Funko. My YouTube channel is Let's Get Poppin', and my Twitter is Young Shoe. This is Let's Talk About Funko. I'm Reggie. I'm Mario. And I am Jay. Our host here, and, we, and you're here, uh, I know you're at a booth. What's the booth number? 938, right across from the Funko booth. And that's uh, the name of the booth? Oh, the Unstoppable Comics booth. So how long have you been doing uh, comics? Well, I've been self-publishing now for 11 years. Right here in New York City. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, yes. We do, we do superhero books. We do zombie books. We do ninja books. Um, we do posters, shirts, shot glasses, championship size shot glasses. And um, we're going to be doing toys now okay. in 2020. I know you guys are big Funko guys, yeah. you know. I was always a big uh, G.I. Joe guy. Yes. Okay. okay. I saw those figures. Yeah. Yeah, we did last time. The pro no, he has them up over there now. Oh, now you got them hooked up. Yeah. Oh, so there's going to be behind the glass. There's going to be nine figures in the set, and uh, we're going to be launching them on Kickstarter January 25th at PowCon in Brooklyn on 72 Noble Street. So if you come to the convention and uh, you back the Kickstarter there, you got to get a little bit of extra loving for backing us on that day. Oh. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, um, I know you have many characters over here. Sorry. Um, someone's trying to get through. <laughs> um, out of all those characters that you have, um, what's your favorite in there? Oh, well, my favorite is uh, this guy called uh, The Interceptor. The name of his book is Shield and the Interceptor, and it kind of blends superheroes with uh, Arthurian mythology. You know, I, I, I love Captain America, right? But how do you play along those parallel lines? So if you know about the sword Excalibur, right, and King Arthur, well, what if there was a shield that went with it? So we incorporated that concept into the, uh, into the story, and, and then it just started to flow. That's a, good, that's a dope idea. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, 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 I love it. I mean, it's like, all right, you got Captain America, and he's, you know, he's a white guy, and uh, he's American, and his shield's um, origin is in science. But now you got Shield the Interceptor, and well, he's British, right? He's a man of color, and the Shield's origins are based in magic. So if you like that kind of thing, Shield the Interceptor would be your jam. What about for us Latinos? Yeah. Uh, the out there. Uh, all right, so this is going to go way back to uh, yes. when I was in college, some number of years ago, <laughs> right? And. Um, I found out about Taino in the mythology. That's one of the things we're taught about in school here in New York, and it's unfortunate. We, we read about Zeus, we read about Hercules, we read about Homer's Odyssey. Great stuff, right? But as Hispanics in the inner city, we didn't get things that were incorporated into our culture. So when I was in college, I found out about Taino Indian mythology. And now that I'm making comic books, well, everything started with that. It started with incorporating Taino into mythology into the superheroics that I, I loved growing up, but I felt was missing. Okay. Yeah. And so basically, uh, for the books, you're the writer, you're the... I am the writer, I'm the publisher, I'm the knucklehead who put his money where his mouth is, yeah. and it's kept me going for this long because I've been finding folks like you guys, yeah. right? And the viewers on Let's Talk About Funko, who, um, we're into geek culture because, you know, we rule the world now. Yes, you know what I'm do. saying? It's a popular thing now. Yeah, <laughs> man. And, and it's, you know, and it's this group, this, this community that has been helping me um, stay in publishing for 11 years. It's amazing because I see that you not just you do New York Comic Con or other small cons in the city. I've seen you outside of the city or outside of New York and people actually know we're seeing you and coming to you. How, how good does that feel? 
Oh, dude, it's awesome. I mean, we've done conventions in Chicago, Boston, oh, wow. Philly, yeah. uh, Orlando, Puerto Rico, New York. Puerto Rico. And, you know, you got to rep. You got to rep, you know, where the family comes from. And um, you get to meet different faces. And like I said, we're a community. And when you like something, you're invested in this stuff, you travel for it. You look for it, you know, but you meet these faces and, you know, you meet the faces in different places. And you all come to find out you like the same thing. And that's what brings us all together. That is true, that is true. So has, has there been anybody that passed by the booth that's amazed you so far with this cosplay already? Oh, dude, we saw um, the Ghost Rider here tricked out oh. with translucent armor. Oh, uh, wow. We saw Captain Marvel in like, like that post-apocalyptic version. We see uh, the sister team dressed up as, um, as Scorpion and Sub-Zero. That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Serpento just passed by here from G.I. Joe. Oh, again, we just <laughs> saw um, the entire Sinister Six. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, that is, like, awesome. Just to get the, the crew together and, like, be on point. With the the Dr. Sinister Octopus. Yeah. Uh, that took up the whole Doc Ock, sorry. Took that's the whole, like, thing over here. That's a, that's a lot of teamwork to begin with. Yeah, so, is. congratulations. So, tell me about the shirt over here. I have the same exact one at home. All right, so one of the things we like to do is, you know, it's a chibi, right? Yes. Look, we can't we can't use the Funko name, but people love that big head like me. I got a big, I got a, big head. I got a, I got a seven and five eighths head <laughs> myself. I'm a, I, you know, I'm a pre Funko, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. human size, but flipped because it dropped on the bottom after some time. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. That. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, that's, listen, we eat good food because we're here in New York, baby. But um. You know, we, we like to chibi size some of our stuff. It just doesn't have to be, you know, natural superheroics. People like seeing things in different different contexts, different views, different perspectives from different artists. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So, since you do all the comics and everything like that, I, I heard about the Spawn movie that's coming out, right? Okay. What would you think about it? Would, would you give it a rated R? Or would you make it again PG-13? What would you do if no, you was a creator? If I was, I mean, with the type of, of material that it is, you want to use hell and you want to go dark, you want to go deep, you got to go rated R with something like that. Right? Yeah. We, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping for, rated R. You know, guts and glory all the way for me. Yeah. Deadpool pretty much showed do you have to go rated R nowadays. So, oh no. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's certain environments where, you know, PG-13 is good, but if you're trying to tell... A little bit extra, you got to go for that maximum extra right. effort, right? You're right. You're right. Yeah. How many uh, artists do you have right now uh, working for you? Uh, well, we got folks working with us from Columbia, folks working with us from England, oh, folks wow. working with us from Boston, from Florida, um, and from uh, Baltimore. So um, all together, maybe about eight or nine just uh, different freelance illustrators. I really enjoyed the cards, so I was like, that got me hooked because, hey, come on, the cards have remind me from back in the days when yeah. we used to collect them, get a little ass, like a little background because they give you a little, a little extra information sometimes on the fun, the little fun fact or something like that. Yeah, I enjoyed them. And it's like, but I'm like trying to look for the like the full thing now. I was like, get the checklist and get everybody ready. I'm like, I'm missing a few, so I'm gonna be coming over. Oh, the yeah. danger room cards, yeah. Yes, you know, there's that collect the collectability aspect too, yes. right? You don't just want to put together a book. You want to give people. Uh, something for them to get invested on. Yeah. So it's it's not just the comic books. It is the cards. It is the T-shirts. It's the things that want to get people um, involved in it. But it's you know maybe not that flavor. You know some people like vanilla. Some people like chocolate. Some people like strawberry with rainbow sprinkles. So, but it's all on a cone. You know what I mean? Until it's on a cup. I'm starting to get a little bit weird. <laughs> but you see, it's all the nah, same nah, thing, guys. <laughs> uh, what's the next con you're doing? The next con I'm doing is going to be uh, PowCon, January 25th in Brooklyn. Green uh, Brooklyn. We should be there. Did we win to? No, I don't think that was. No, that was the other one. Hey, that's a different one. There's so many uh, cons happening in Brooklyn alone. It's like. Yeah, yeah Brooklyn is, is, is starting to strive now with comic books and, and Brother, cons now. Yeah. It is the place. Listen, if you're not from New York, it's okay. Right? But if you're a New Yorker and you don't throw love to Brooklyn, we're going to have some words. Day. We're going to have some words, man. <laughs> so thank you for, so much for coming through. Thank you guys for having me. All right? Um, let's talk about Funko. Yeah. So how can we reach you? 
Uh, unstoppablecomics.com. All right, that website is uh, first and foremost where you're going to find us. But it's also Unstoppable Comics on Facebook, yes. okay. Unstoppable Comics on Instagram, and Unstoppable COM on Twitter because, you know, you only get 15 letters. <laughs> cheap, man. They're cheap. cheap. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Peace. Peace. Peace.